Hello and welcome to the Simple Game Dev. This is part 10 of the tutorial. And in the last video, we ended up with this conveyor belt piece, which already has its conveyor belt script. Now, the only thing that I did outside of camera was uh, to actually create this, uh, make this a prefab. And you do that by dragging the object into any of the folders. In, in my case, I put it on my prefabs folder if I can find it no prefabs there uh, conveyor belt that's the only thing that's different from your project and my project hopefully so what we need to do now is create an array of conveyor belts so that it looks like it's transporting the boxes from one side to the other. So that's pretty simple. You just uh, start copying and pasting them and just arrange them as you see fit. Now, since each one of these pieces um, has its own script, we have to find a way to sync them all at the same time right so you don't want to stop this one and maybe then this one and because uh, that that would look weird so you ha you want to stop and start these animations at the same time so in order to do that we're gonna create an empty game object and I'm gonna reset its position so that it's in the middle of the stage then I'm gonna drag all this can be rebuilt pieces and put them inside that game object which I'm gonna call belt belt array now the belt array is the one I'm gonna be asking uh, later on to start and stop all these pieces right so let's go back to our scripts folder and create a new C sharp script I'm going to call this uh, belt array belt array I'm gonna double click on it start editing and I'm going to need a reference to each one of those conveyor belt script so public conveyor belt script but since we have a lot of them it's gonna be an array of those scripts and I'm going to call this um, Conveyor <coughs> belt scripts. Yeah, that's easy to understand. I'm going to save. And now we can just drag and drop all our conveyor belts in here. You can do it one by one if you want. But imagine if you had like, I don't know, 100 items and that's gonna be a pain right so I'm gonna click on this icon here this lock icon so that even if I click on something else the inspector is still locked into that item in this case the belt array so I'm going to shift select all the pieces and I'm gonna drag and drop it into this compare belt script and now this is very important click on the unlock icon again on the lock icon to unlock it because sometimes you don't notice and you're still modifying the the values here thinking it's the other object i know it, it, it happens to me it has happened to me before so now we can access all those compare builds from this array belt array okay so let's go back to our belt array And what do we need for this? Um, I'm gonna start with the tester. So in update, every time I press, let's say, input, get key down, key code, let's say, M to move, okay. 
I want uh, for each so this means for each item in the compare build script okay so this thing is going okay crap okay again for each okay item now we know there is a move function there right inside our build script so what what this is going to do is every time I press the M key it's going to check inside all the items in here it doesn't matter if you have 100 or, or 2 or 20 and then it's going to call that function inside each one of those pieces in this case the item uh, the move build so I'm going to save it and let's double check something before I okay because I, I, I think I used the M key before so conveyor belt script yeah I, I used it before so I'm just gonna get rid of this tester because it's, that's it just for testing so we know the conveyor belt script works so I'm gonna save it and now since the M is free uh, every time we press it then it's gonna move it so let's let's try it out okay that's good no errors so let's press M and as you can see all of this uh, pieces are moving at the same time so it's pretty neat now we have to do something pretty much the same thing to stop it so mm, let's do s and item belt stop stop belt so let's try it out Okay. M. Oh. M to move. As will stop it. Now there's a little bit of delay on these uh, cylinders, based on the frame of the animation. I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Okay, so let's continue with our script. So now that we know that it works, okay. So, we need to be able to stop and uh, start the build from outside of this script, right? So, the way I always do it is create a public static build array reference. It's called instance. And this is gonna be that instance. Instance. And since it's static, we can now call any method, any public method that's inside of this <coughs> from other scripts. So let's create the public void stop band. No. Start band start band no I'm gonna call this start uh, build yeah I never got to start a band when I was in college so yeah start build and yeah we're just gonna copy this right here and another one to stop it public void stop Build. So every time we, we call this start build from anywhere, then we know this is going to stop start moving. And same for stopping. So I believe that's it for this uh, part 10. Yep should be good so 
this that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in part 11